All right, everybody. Let's, uh, <laughs> welcome to Let's Play Harry Potter or Crappy Doctor in the Sorcerer's Stone or the Philosopher's Sorcerer's Stone, whatever. Philosopher's Stone of Sorcerers. Oh, yes. Anyway, yeah. American version of Philosopher's Stone. It's the Sorcerer's Stone. I'll just title it as that. Challenge your own idiocy. Okay, audio sounds a bit glitchy. Hopefully that won't glitch out later. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. Except a motorbike appearing in thin air. Hagrid, at last. And where did you get that motorbike? Borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Yeah, um... Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. But not for long. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon and Cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. The One smiley day, face on he that. He received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft. See a smile. Wizardry. I've never seen a letter before. It's like... I don't live here. Anyway. Yes, new game. They're hardly gonna select continue. We've hardly started this before. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so funny. Let's do this. Let's go to Hogwarts. Let's shoot some hogs. Hopefully we won't be denoming a garden. Told ya, didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. Yeah, yeah. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to m meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Crow? D -d Defense against the d dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, P Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. I I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Yeah, Just yeah. On, lots to buy. Come Masturbating on, to vampires, I see. <laughs> Oh boy, where is the world coming to when Quirrell is buying books on vampires? Three up to a cross. Right, stand back, Harry. No, I think I'll just stand here, thanks. I'm actually hoping a brick will hit me on the head and put me out of my misery. Give me a nicer looking scar. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Hmm, looks pretty vertical so far. Just your wand left from Ollivanders. Oh yeah, and I still haven't got your birthday present. Ah, oh, forget it. Hello? Unless of course you give me Good drugs. Afternoon. Ah yes, yes, yes. Got any magic mushrooms? I'll be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. Puffed tweet. Have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself buying her first one. I don't need Ten to near hear this. Is long, swishy, made a willow. Uh, nice wand for charm work. Got splinters from it, I guess. On the other hand, favoured a mahogany wand. He what? I say your father favoured it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me. Would you kindly follow me? Would you kindly pick up that shortwave radio? Would you kindly shoot yourself in the head? Have a look around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand you like, pick it up and let's see if it likes you. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's easy to remember what Harry's wand is made of. Holly and Phoenix Feather, 11 inches long, nice and supple. And yes, I have not read the book a few billion times. Uh, yeah. Ebony and Unicorn. Beechwood and Dragon Heartstring. No, no. Nine inches. Wait a minute. Beechwood nice and, and Dragon Heartstring. 
Hmm. Sounds familiar. This one's mine. Holly and Phoenix Feather. Yep. Eleven inches. Nice and supple. Stand over there, on that platform, to try your wand. The beech wood and uh, dragon heartstring one kind of sounds like Draco's. Then again. Let's test it out. Zap! Alright, dramatic much? Oh yeah, that wand has stopped glowing now. Trust me, it'll glow more later. Curious. How very curious. By curious. Sorry, but what's curious? I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this wand when it's brother. You know, he has very limited animation so far. Why its brother gave you that scar. Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. He constantly the puts his hand to his Jesus chin and nods. Remember. See? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be Again? did great things. Terrible. Yes, but great. Again, stop it. Please retrieve the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead. Okay. I'll do your dirty work for you. But you had better not teleport to the other side. Oh my god. Why are you there? Over here, Mr. Potter. I know. I know. Bouncing. Vomit. Spit. Mmm. Curry. Ugh. Earwax flavor. If any of you have not had curry, kill yourself now. Uh, let's see. Roar. Mmm. Mmm. Ugh. Tripe. Now, is Harry literally eating them all? Over here, Mr. Potter. Besides which, he, go he gets annoyed about spinach and cabbage and sprouts. What's bad about them? Fishy! He likes sardines and hates cabbage and fishy. tripe. Mmm, peppermint. Peppermint, oh my god. Did he say fishy peppermint? Oh. Now you fucker! Ugh. Climb up, Harry. Yeah, Fishy! Sardine flavor. Oh. What the? F <sighs> you get stuck when it's going back inwards. Uh, uh, ew. Mm, mm, peppermint. How do you know what earwax tastes like Fishy. anyway? Sardine flavor. Sardine flavor. B booger flavor. Booger flavor. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, spellbook. Let's learn the Nintendo spell. Oh, bravo. Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Uh-huh. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful Flippendo knockback jinxes. Okay. Mm-hmm, yeah. Flipendo, add it to square. Exit. Exit. If you'd kindly follow me. If you'd kindly not tell me to follow you, would you kindly open that door for me? Because some fucker seems to have locked it again. Yeah. Oh! Bogey! Bogey, I mean, god damn it. 
Yeah, fucking stop it. A wizard card! <gasps> really? Felix Summerby. 1447 to 1508. Inve Inventor of Turing Charms, yes I know. I'm not stupid. Well I am, but not that stupid. Mmm! Peppermint! Ugh! Liver! Flavor. Was there really a point in looking for just one? Mmm, curry. Curry is awesome. Mmm, toast. Who hides beans in a bloody shelf like this? Mmm, peppermint. I wonder what their shelf life is exactly. Yeah, bad joke really. Liverpool? Ugh. Now, uh, no offence to anyone from Liverpool. I can't do your accent, so I'm not going to bother. Yummy, 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 yummy. Ah. Yay! So exciting! Oh no! See, he's locking me in. What are you planning, old man? These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped using your flippendo knockback jinx. Flip them in the correct order. Your animation is very limited. To target an object, press the target button, R1. If more targets are nearby, you can cycle through them by quickly pressing the target button again. Which means you cannot selectively target. You have to do it like this. Tricky customer, eh? Sometimes the answer to the question isn't right in front of it. Yeah, I know. Before continuing, it may be wise to collect the folio bruti. And maybe I'll do that then. I'm not gonna bother reading it though. Oh crap. Imps. Most annoying enemy ever. These imps can be a nuisance. Try knocking them over with Flipendo. Then pick them up and lock them in the cages. I'll do that if I can. Damn it, even running into them hurts you. Pick it up, Harry. Yep. This is easy. If you'd kindly follow me, stop saying that. Cast a spell while moving. You need to target the shield on this device and continue to cast Flipendo at it until the central section locks into place. What? I can't hear you. Done. I think that's what you wanted me to do, right? Well done, Mr. Potter. No. Hmm. What's that then? I'm gonna take it if you don't mind. Woot. 
Oh, hello. This be mine, then. <laughs> Yay! With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. More powerful? Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand, but be careful. Don't overpower your spells. What are you doing, Harry? Up in a <gasps> spot of trouble. Ow. I felt that vibrate. My dildo went insane. Oh, I mean my gamepad. Yeah, I'm totally talking about my gamepad now. This time, I'd like you to power up the Flipendo spell before casting it. Like this. Flipendo! 